Okay, good morning or good afternoon everyone. So this is our first instructional video in understanding culture, society, and politics. So this may be the first, but you already did a lot of tasks to begin with. So I watched your presentations, your interviews, and practically there were common remarks on the kaugalian or the traditions and culture of the Kapampangans. First is that I heard from your interviews that Kapampangans are considered to be good in cooking. The, the, I usually hear the, the phrase magaling magluto or masarap magluto. Another culture that they say that is being claimed by the interviewee, interviewees is that Kapampangans are mababait uh, that I don't know but practically the interviewees were just probably being true or perhaps they got scared of the interviewer and they had to say that another is they mentioned Kapampangans being highly noisy and you know that maingay tayong mga Kapampangan and um, this could be not only attributed to our culture but also to the culture of other groups or ethnicity so it is noticeable that kapampangans whenever they're around they would usually talk to each other as if they're fighting siguro may na-encounter na kayong ganun na parang nag-uusap lang sila, magkasama sila pero para silang nag-aaway but they're just actually telling stories to each other so those particular things that you mentioned are considered as traits and culture of the Kapampangans. Another notable culture is that Kapampangans are said to be mayabang. Sabi nga nila, uh, kapag Kapampangan, mayabang. Uh, Diyang alayang pera, mapormayo. Mumunta yung mall, nakalago, anong kasanting, pero yung pera na kimbusa, pamasay lamo. So, that proves, I would say it in Filipino, na kahit wala siyang pera, maporma pa rin siya. Minsan, pupunta siya ng mall, wala naman siyang pambili ng kahit ano. Pero lang siya, pamasahe niya. So, kakayabangan in a sense that may iba na nangungutang talaga, they just really borrow money from other people just to have something to give to their visitors during fiestas. Or to have a very grand celebration whether that's a birthday or baptism or wedding because Kapampangans are known for their flamboyant way of living but of course not everyone is like that it is wrong to genera- generalize that all Kapampangans are let's say mayayabang but in general that's a, that's a comment that I hear uh, I've heard that a lot from people who are not from Pampanga and I think that mm, with regulation this could be acceptable and people would not be mayabang if they do not have the the trait that would make them feel good about themselves sabi nga nila kapag kapampangan magaganda or guapo but then again sana okay let's put the kayabangan in its proper place so these are observations that we had from that I personally had from all of your interviews there were a few that are highly general but at least you did your part Um, I commend you for that for taking videos and it seems like others really um, traveled places good job just for them to complete this video so for those who submitted late well deductions okay Um, I know you know who you are those who messaged me lately who, who are asking for permission for me to accept their work I am going to accept their work but remember you have your deduction you know who you are okay so our our course uh, our subject title is understanding culture society and politics so you have three major words culture society and politics so that means um, the entire subject would be dealing about us, the way we live, the way we deal with people, the way we organize ourselves. So these are very important 
things to consider for us to fully understand other people. Hindi kasi sapat na we know the person as he or she is lang on a surface level. It is important that we dig deeper. We get to know them in terms of their cultural backgrounds, in terms of their social backgrounds. Bakit kailangan natin alamin ang background ng isang tao in the first place? First, it will make us understand why that person acts that way. Um, kung minsan, uh, iba yung ugali niya sa atin, that, that background is actually the key for us to accept the person for who he or she is. Kasi hindi naman tayo lahat pare-pareho na pinagagaling yung na background. Uh, let's say, even in a classroom, just like your classroom or um, your section, iba-iba yung ano, iba-iba yung pinagagalingan nyo. Iba-ibang families, iba-ibang communities. At masasabi nyo din, even if you deny it, you know in yourselves that your class is highly diverse. Na minsan kahit you're from the same barangay, same municipality, same barangay, you still have differences. Bakit? Kasi iba-iba tayo ng pamilya, iba-iba tayo ng background, na kahit nasa isang space na tayo, kadalasan meron pa rin pagkakaiba. Kahit nga magkapatid kayo, di ba? Magkaiba pa rin ng ugali. So, we have our own uniqueness. So, why am I saying this? We are going to look into the social and cultural backgrounds of you, students, as you act as subjects and so